Um, hi, uh, you've probably heard me mention it before in my storage unit. Well, this is the state it is in. I have got mowers and rubbish everywhere in here. And um, it's a decent size, um, it's a decent size unit really. It goes from up there to there. Um, I'd say, it be quite a double garage. It'd be about a garage and a half. And it's reasonably long as well, so you can have a bench at the end. You could work, you could work on a car here. The one problem is the doors aren't very high, so you can only get a low big limb, which is a bit of a pain because I've also had the camper in here. But I've got to somehow work through all these bits and pieces, <coughs> excuse me, and try and um, get rid of some of it. Probably fifty percent of it. So. I've got my work out a little bit. I've come up here now for three hours. It's Saturday morning. I've come for three hours to sort through some stuff. Um, things like them engines, I'm just gonna think I'm just gonna like bin them. I can't be bothered with them. I don't come across mowers with them bits on enough to worth me b bothering taking the bits off. Um, I will just put them in the truck, probably um, in the van, just as they are, and take them home. Then just see if I want to take the. Um, coil off it or perhaps start off that one because it's a stale start one um i might take the odd few bits off but i'm gonna have to sort of be quite ruthless i've got lots of little boxes like that with like nuts and bolts in which are always handy um that's a bit of my problem that shelf there look at all the mentions up there because if i'm gonna do anything with them um so um yeah i got sort of through i actually that honda little honda up there actually i need the top of that so i didn't think i had a top of one of them so i have there's a little, like, little brand new um side shaft brakes engine there i don't want that um radiator brand new radiator there. i don't know what it's for a lot of the problem is i don't know what the stuff's for um i can hear someone around the back welding or something they're dimming my lights um so yeah, it's a, bat, it's a matter of getting things sorted like that little scarifier there. That's probably going to be sold. Um, I've got another one I use a lot more than that one. HR 173. A lot of people rate them as a little mower. May hang on to that one because I could all. I always think it's short of a little lightweight mower in the van, and you know, like the new ones, like that type of thing. Uh, that's not new. That's more modern. They're, they're rubbish really this got this got a nice little plastic deck on it ain't in bad condition carves myself and the blades missing but i have got the stairs for that i think oh, i've got a little one an engine there that's the thing i've got so many little bits and pieces in here that that it there. Look at the state of that thing i think i'm just gonna the driving that could be good on it i really don't know um that's the problem i'm left with all these things with little bits on them like strings up there still string recall sort of missing but it's got handy little bits on it same with that one um makita one up there oh, another makita one there just it's mind-boggling what i've got to sort of try and sort out and realistically i i don't know whether i want to do it really you know i think i'll just be better off being ruthless and dumping stuff um there's um cardboard boxes junk all down there i bought some land rover wheels the other week there's i'm around there now what my aim is to try and do is to keep the stuff try and sort out stuff i want to keep and pile it in that corner over there and that corner there and um, there's a held rotor over there i think it needs a clutch on it i want to keep that um there's my um fertilizer spreader there there's a couple of old and small lightweight haters. I probably will fix up for next spring, so I'll probably hang on to them. I've got a few of the old Honda HRXs. They're just spares. I don't know how many of them I've got. I've got two or three of them. Just, they're just for spares for the miles I use. You know, the parts have cost me a fortune if I had bought them. And I needed a wheel adjuster the other day. Just come up here, took it off. There's a 48, a little bit more modern one. The sort of early 2000 one, still the belt driven one, but it's more modern one than that one's under there. Um, we've got an old Briggs engine there. Um, 12 and a half horsepower Briggs engine, don't really need it. Um, my aim was to start it up, get it on the bench at home, start it up, or well, not on the bench so much, on the um, pallet or something, and um, get it up and running and, and sell it as a sort of going engine. Well, the same with actually the 
top of an old mag engine down there, the grey petrol tank, that's another engine I want to do something with. So yeah, I'm really backpack blower there. Yeah, so really is um, quite quite difficult to uh, hold this um, uh, an edger there, a little Briggs edger. Um, don't want to make it, but the actual engine is a Briggs on it. Um, just loads and loads of stuff and I've got to sort of sort it out because I need the space. I'm paying for it monthly, I need the space. So rather than keep talking, I'll see if I can sort of sort for a few things.